Cartoon Cartoons A block of animated shows that arrived in the mid to late 1990s on Cartoon Network. From Dexter's Lab to Ed, Ed, and Eddie, we saw a new wave of entertainment for a new generation of viewers. But out of all of these shows, one stood out from the rest. A show that gave the middle finger to gender stereotypes and was fun for everyone. The Powerpuff Girls. Sugar, spice, and everything nice, plus some chemical X. Who would have thought that a cartoon about little bug-eyed girls with superpowers would be so popular? Well, I suppose the creator of the show, Craig McCracken, knew what he was doing because the Powerpuff Girls was one of the most successful shows on Cartoon Network. High ratings, lots of merchandise, it even got a full-length movie. But alas, all good things must come to an end, and the Powerpuff Girls met theirs in 2000. And five. Sailor Moon, oh I'm sorry, I meant the Powerpuff Girls, came back in 2006 but as an anime. It was called Powerpuff Girls Z and it ran for about a year. After that was a bizarre 2014 special but it had this weird CGI animation and was overall meh. I don't believe that a majority of people were against bringing back the Powerpuff Girls, but they wanted it done right. Not this stuff. And guess what? In 2016, after 11 years of waiting, the Powerpuff Girls officially came back to television and their prayers were finally answered. We could have stopped this. We could have stopped this. We could have stopped it here. We could have stopped it there. But we didn't. We kept pushing and pushing and we pushed too far and- Now my goose stop! Oh God. If I may, um, I'll tell you the problem with the scientific power that you're, that you're using here. Uh, it didn't require any discipline to attain it. You know, you read what others had done and you, and you took the next step. You didn't earn the knowledge for yourselves, so you don't take any responsibility for it. You stood on the shoulders of geniuses uh, to accomplish something as fast as you could, and before you even knew what you had, you, you patented it, and packaged it, and slapped it on a plastic lunchbox, and now you're selling it. You want to sell it. Well, I, I don't think you're giving us our due credit. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. The new Powerpuff Girls show is loaded with problems. And not just from a subjective point of view. I mean legit technical problems. So I'm gonna name off what I think is wrong with this husk of a reboot. To be fair, I will mention things that I do like about the show, but that will be near the end. We gotta go through the bad stuff first, and there is a lot of it. So let's begin. Number one, they made a reboot of the Powerpuff Girls. Two, they replaced the original voice actors of the girls. Three, Miss Bellum is gone and for a really stupid reason. The show staff thought she was offensive. Four, the animation style is completely different. Everything is round, soft, and has thin lines. Five, the narrator is rarely used, even though he was a big part of the original series. Six, how old are they? What grade are they in? They were in kindergarten before, and now middle school? Seven, they no longer act like little girls. They behave more like hashtag preteens now. Eight, animation errors everywhere. Nine, twerking. 10. They don't utilize the old villains. I mean, they are there, but they seem more like neighbors. 11. Twerking. 12. The new villains are lame and are basically rehashes of the old ones. So, that begs a question. Why not use the old ones? 13. Reusing plots from the old series. 14. Twerking. 15. Lame, outdated, the epic may maze from the internet. 16. Lazy animation. This effect here, the same one used here. 17. Why do they have green lantern powers? Oh, to sell toys, of course. 18. Their eyes. What's up with their eyes? Is that the only way they know how to emote? 
19. The iconic ending for the episodes from the old series. We barely see it anymore in the new one, and it looks awful. 20. Why does the professor have a round face? It should be squared. 21. The pacing of the show is too fast. 22. Why are there disembodied voices singing everything? 23. Bubbles, an animal lover, wanted to fight a bull. Did they even research the characters? 24. Miss Keen does not have any boobs. What the actual hell? 25. Twerking. 26. Maxi pad clouds in the sky. 27. The background characters look like they belong in Clarence. They do not mesh well with the original characters. 28. They move so slow. Even when they dash off, it looks slow. 29. The fighting sucks. 30. Windows desktop background. 31. The credit song is garbage. 32. Princess has a different voice actor and she sucks. 33. Compared to the old show, this one has crap music. 34. Where's Aki's hat? It's in the freaking intro. Why isn't it in the actual show? 35. Bubbles got her arm broken by a tail whip. She has been through much, much, much worse. But this hurt her? What? 36. Twerking. And 37. The biggest reason why this show sucks is because they are no longer heroes. In the old series, we knew they were superheroes and that it was their job to stop the bad guys. That is why the outro said this. And so, once again, the day is saved thanks to the Powerpuff Girls. Maybe that is why they got rid of the outro. No one is saving the day anymore. It feels more slice of life with the occasional villain fight. I'm sure that I will find more reasons to hate this show as it progresses, but that is all I really have for now. I did say that I would mention some things that I like about the show, so here it goes. 1. Some of the old voice actors are still around. The mayor, the professor, Mojo Jojo, though you can tell that a few of them are out of practice. 2. The intro for the show is awesome. 3. The show has some cool monster designs. Sometimes. 4. The new voice actors aren't half bad. I honestly like the new Buttercup, but I would have preferred the original voice actors. 5. The reboot has its moments where it can be funny. Jokes and gags that have gotten a hearty laugh out of me. But this isn't enough to save the show. And 6. Um... 6. Uh... 6. Honest to God, that is all I can think of. This reboot is a shadow of its predecessor and has drifted far away from its source material. Yet, not far enough. If you're going to do a reboot, make it different or something, or stay loyal to the original. This one is stuck in the middle, where there are some things that are close to the old show, but there are a lot of things that don't fit in. I'm talking about you. It... It just sucks. It really does, and I feel that it isn't nostalgia making me say that. I mean, if I was a 12 year old today and I had no idea about the original show, I think I would tolerate this reboot and watch it every now and then. But if I discovered the original Powerpuff Girls, I would just watch that instead because it's much, much better. I feel that they went in this direction to pander to the teenage girl demographic and sell merchandise. Overall, I hope that nostalgia does not resurrect other old Cartoon Network shows just to squeeze a dime out of them. Just let them rest in peace. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Please be. Ah. Oh, you also have Professor Plutonium. Professor Plutonium. Professor Plutonium.